Next up on Haller for an Hour is something spooky for the Halloween season. This is Farm Mystery, the Happy Orchard Nightmare. Now this is actually a genre of game that I don't normally play. But, let's play one. And you'll understand once we get into it. These woods really creep me out at night. I've heard too many bad catfire stories about them. I need to hurry in my two th early 2000 model car. Huh, what's up with the radio? I better call Zach, let him know I'm almost here. Damn, no signal. Never mind, I can see the farm just up ahead. Not creepy at all. Hey, no fair. Come on, Zach, what kind of a bad joke is this? The entrance is all bored up and the place looks empty. Well, how am I supposed to get in? Hmm, how indeed. It's not like we can climb fences in video games. Hello. This The farm looks like it's been deserved for weeks, but Zach didn't mention anything. I need to find him. If I could get his... Help me! Oh no, Zach needs help! What the Zach? Zach, what's going on? Damn, the signal dropped out again. This is just too weird. Zach doesn't play games. Something happened. What? Man, this text is way too fucking fast. I don't like it. This really is a blame shot. I'm going to be stuck alone with all Zach used to help me scary stories about the farm being haunted and people going missing. There, I read it fast enough. Are you happy now? <laughs> The sound of Fuma during Harvest Green Mist descended, the Scarecrows came alive! Listen to yourself, it's just a stupid urban legend. Pull yourself together and find Zack. Well, actually, if it's happening at a farm, it's not a, It's not an urban legend, it's a rural legend. <laughs> That's not an urban legend at all. Alright, well, anyways. You can interact with some objects. These objects are Arctic Sparkles. <laughs> Tap on the logs to zoom into them. Alright. So, uh... Oh. Do you want me to... Oh, okay, right analog stick, gotcha. Alright. Can we make it go faster? Oh, there's no, there are no options in this game. I'm like, can we make this curse go faster? Nope. Nope. So, uh, how many of you guys are aware of hidden object games? Tap on the, I will tap in a moment. All right, I'll tap the logs. That looks like uh, something I want. That is a flashlight. <laughs> now, some hidden object games are really good. But it doesn't mean they all are. I just figured I'd check out one. So why not? They are, they are, some people, I, I personally think it's a completely respectable genre. It reminds me of the old I Spy books I used to, that Caleb used to uh, uh, read in, in school. I Spy. Everybody knows the I Spy books? It's kind of like that. Try to find a crowbar. Okay. I'm going to disable the tutorial now. I'm tired of it. A certain, well, actually, in certain areas, see the crystal will change the navigation arrow. The navigation appears. All right. You know what? Thank you. I don't need that anymore. Why is it ZR? Also, the left analog stick. Okay. So I want to point this out. It really wants me to play the game with one hand because it's right analog stick and ZR. So okay, I guess I'll just chill. I sit back, chill, read this book. Oh, um, it has something in it. X, C, R, and right analog stick. These boards won't budge. I need to tear them down if I'm going to access the farm. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I, I stop making the wind chime noise. I'm fine. <laughs> they bored you as a kid? Oh, no, the back of my car. How spooky. Let's play a spooky sound effect. What is this license plate? Tw $29.95? Like, what governmental official are you to have such a small license plate? <laughs> All right, let's open, open our inventory. Just use our flashlight in the trunk. That'll open it. Okay, that didn't work. Well, okay. Let's see. Oh, well, that, that, you know. Why don't you just leave your keys just stuck in your, that just seems very unsafe. Come on. So, okay, I have to manually select. Also, this is the slowest. I wish this could go a little faster, but oh well, whatever. It's dark, too dark to see anything. No, it isn't. I can see everything just fine, but okay. How could it be that dark? You have your lights. Oh, what? What is this? Oh my god, scare cords! Actually, I kind of agree with these scare cords. What is this horror that is this disorganized, disorganized trunk? Well, let's, let's, like, what is it? What are, lady, what do you do for a living? You have fucking rusty pliers and a machete. A rusty machete. Are you a murderer? Do you just, like, pick up people in the middle of the night and murder them? Because this certainly seems like a murderer trunk. You have somebody's old cell phone that they, they had when before you killed them. You just threw it in the back of your trunk. You have an ice pick! Oh my god, look at these rusty tools. 
You have a fucking hacksaw. What are you doing? You have gloves? You have that? Is that old duct tape? Oh my god. Yeah, no, seriously, she's a murderer. She's clearly a murderer. She has rope to tie somebody up. Yeah, she, she even has a baseball. Yes, I, and somebody's purse that she did. Like, who would, who would rightfully... Who in their right mind would put their purse in their trunk, especially around all this other stuff? This is not her purse. This is somebody she killed. <laughs> Anyways, let's take the crowbar. I need that. Oh, I guess we need to get multiple things. All right. Uh, let's get... I mean, I've already... It's a hidden object game, so naturally there has to be a bunch of shit uh, piled together. That makes sense. But seriously, with all this stuff piled together like this, she really looks like a, a murderer. <laughs> uh, all right, so what do we need? We need the... Do we need the cell phone? Okay, there's the cell phone. That's a very old cell phone, by the way. Um, do we need... Oh, what? We apparently do need our cleaver. Well, we're going in armed, I guess. That's reasonable. Uh, what else do we need? Scissors. Well, those are over here. I love the little... The little... Doo -doo -doo, the really stock little... Uh, String doesn't that doesn't that string cord totally work with the uh, with the creepy atmosphere? <laughs> it's like yeah, perfect. What else do we need? We need the horseshoe for some reason. All right, what are we getting these items for exactly? I guess we need that funnel. We need the boots. I'll take the boots. Uh, the wrench. We need not spare light and scrub brush. Is this a scrub brush? Apparently not. I don't know what's this is a scrub brush? There we go. Um what's a, what nut what kind of nut are we talking about exactly? Because there's several types, but you know this this giant fucking Why is that nut as big as the hammer? That was the most What that nut was huge! Why was what was that nut for? What is that nut for? Spare light. Um I don't see anything here that counts as a light, but okay. Uh, uh, that's apparently a spare light? Okay. A lug nut. Yeah, you sure would have to lug that nut around. <laughs> how big it is. Alright. Crowbar. Boop. Boop. Hey, what, what? Hey, come on, I used you. There we go. You need a weapon? Okay, find an axe, shotgun, and a new luxury kitchen knife, and throw everything but the knife away. First, remove all the bells, nails, and the boards. Once you remove all the boards, open the lock. Are you making me do busy work? I guess so. Wait, what do you want me to do? Oh, you want me to... Man, yeah, you do want me to click every... I'm here for a hidden object fight, not for pulling boards off very slowly, but okay. Oh, what's this? Okay, well this at least this is a puzzle. All right, uh, slide element. Okay. What element? Oh, okay, I see. Highlight over it, then move it with the left stick. So now they want me to use the left stick. First time in the game. Hit object games are much better in PC because you're not limited to your speed. This is true. I can agree with this. So I, I think I at least can only move left and right. So I want to get. Okay, this is a simple enough puzzle. Of, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. It's understandable what they want. They want me to move the... Hmm. Not a lot I could do right at the beginning. Alright, what do I... What's the first move? Time for cool math games. Alright. Um... Ah, here's what I was missing. Uh. Ah, I see.
Okay. Does it have touch control while in handheld mode? I would not know because due to the setup I have to capture uh, Switch games, there is no way for me to enter handheld mode and also record for you guys. I guess I could check on my own terms, but... I mean, maybe, but I doubt it. With the production value this has, I would doubt it. I mean, look at the menu. I can't even change the sensitivity of the, the cursor. You think I would be able to adjust how fast this moves, but the menu literally has resume a main menu. So, it looks like there's even space for other options, but there aren't any. Professor Layton music starts playing. <laughs> Alright, we're at the farmyard now. Um, okay. Let's do this bush. Ah, yes, the turkey baster is in the bush, of course. I don't need your hint. Stop trying to give me hints! I'm fine. What the track? Let me check the track. Oh my. Alright, let's see. Okay, well, you know, hey, I, what I love about hidden object games is that the oddness of the audience sometimes. Like, yes, I also, I often, when I, when I go on my tractor to go till the filter, I often bring my spoon so I can have my applesauce while I do it. Um, definitely important. Is this just a, wait. Why is there just a lizard here? There's just a lizard here. Hi, lizard, what are you doing? There's a sit, why is there a centipede here? Okay, whatever. Centipedes make a little more sense, but. Why is there? I assume I need this key. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need a dust pan for some. Why did we? Why did we? You know, in case the fields get a little bit dusty, we're gonna bring our little, uh, our little brew, our little dust. We'll just clean it up. You know, you don't want, you don't want those fields too dusty. Um, what else do we want? We want a flask. Get ye flask. There we are. Uh, we want this knife. Actually, that's not a knife. Where's the knife? We need that, whatever that is. What was, that was a horse. I really need that horse, yes. Hatchet. Hatchet, that's right here. It's under the lizard. Uh, do I need another horseshoe? I have one horseshoe, but apparently I don't need two horseshoes. Okay, never mind the horseshoe. Uh, do I need the... Uh, here's a lighter. Here's a clock. Why is there a... Okay, clock. Flintlock pistol. We are fucking well. We got we we definitely got uh, equipment to fight back with. If if there's evil things here, the flintlock pistol is not the best type of pistol. But um, what else do we need? That is here. Do we need this iron? Do we need this hat? Do we need a spike? Oh, here's a flashlight. Another one. What? Who? Would, wait. Who would position items on their steering wheel? Also, how are these not sliding off? Oh, there's a spider right there. Oh, I'll, I'll take the uh, wrench, though. And the pipe. There we go. And the bells. Wow, there's so many things on the steering wheel. Didn't know you could put so many things on the steering wheel. Very impressive. Um, okay, let's see. Why a belt? Because, you know, if your tractor ever overheats, you use the bells and you cool it off. Or you fan the flames to power it up if it's a coal engine uh, tractor. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, there's the knife. Okay. Uh, all right, that leaves the briefcase. Oh, briefcase? Why am I having trouble finding a brief? Oh, it's over there. That's not really a briefcase. That's more of a like a hand satchel thing. All right. Uh, well, there we go. We solved the hidden object puzzle number two. Let's go in that. Let's go in the farmhouse. Use the use the key. What what is this? This is I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's blocked with sight. I need something pointy. I'll use this all. I don't know what an all is, but sure. I have to I have to twist it. <laughs> Make it. This game makes me do everything. You gotta twist the key. All right, fine. Oh no! It's Grandma McCarthy. <laughs> well, hello, my dear. Well, come in, come in. I'm happy to welcome you to my home. What's the matter? You look like you saw a ghost. Ah ha ha. Oh, what the? What's going on? Who or what are you? Are you real? Where's Zach? So many questions. OMG! Am I dreaming this? It's like a nightmare. Hashtag spooky. Hashtag oh my god. Hashtag, I shouldn't have come here. Uh, now, now, don't worry, my dear. Everything will become clear. This place was a happy home a long time ago, but now it's a haunted, empty shell. But for, you'll find some of the answers that you're after upstairs. But first, young lady, you should move the chandelier out of the way. Somebody pinch me. This place has to be so spooked. I'm seeing things. Oh, no, my dear. I'm, you're not imagining things. I'm real, or as real as a ghost can be. I'm not sure what the etiquette is. You're my first encounter. 
Whatever, it doesn't matter whether I've imagined you or not. One thing's for sure is I need to move that chandelier. There's absolutely no way to walk around it to the left by just skip shimmying along the railing or anything. Thanks, Grandma McCarthy. All right, um, let's see. <laughs> this is kind of great, actually. I like this. I can see a note on the blocked door. What's it say? The supernatural scarecrows of Happy Orchid Farm. Haunting disappearances and a ghoulish goings-on in the countryside. Okay, anybody who wrote a, a news headline where people are literally disappearing and they put ghoulish going-ons in the headline, they would get fired for insensitivity. <laughs> Wait, the Mystery Monocle Magazine. Established 1869. I would read this magazine. This looks like an amazing magazine. All right. Um, journal entry added. Okay, do you want me to look at it? It's just there on the page. All right. OMG. <laughs> Let's look at the painting. Oh no, not one of these. Okay, well, it's not too bad. Put the pictures, pieces of the picture together to obtain the rope. Why, why do I need rope and why would this help me get rope? Questions I have. Alright, um, well, okay. Let me move everything out of the way first. It's, oh god, it got, oh, it got stuck. Okay. <laughs> if you drag to the edge of the screen, you just lose it. That's weird. Okay. Alright, step one, just get everything out of the way. Uh, step two, find the corners. This is probably a corner piece, but I don't know for a fact, so. That's definitely a corner piece, so I'll put it down there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. It kind of... As long as there's a piece next... Okay, so I see. This is actually easier than it seems because it will let you automatically place the piece if you've got it in the journal right position, so... Fair enough, fair enough. You guys can see how good of a puzzle gamer I am with this game. All the different types of puzzles. I am grabbing these as fast as I can, by the way. It's simply the pace of things. Oh, this goes about here, but actually, no, it might actually go over here. Yeah, it does. Somebody really didn't like this painting, did they? Well, there's the rope. Of course, I need to reassemble the painting so I can just reach into the painting and grab the rope in it. That makes a lot of sense. What's this game called again? This is called... I've already forgotten. I don't know, just look up the... <laughs> Halloween Mysteries something the manor... Or Happy Orchid Farm Creepy Halloween Mysteries. Something. Something like that. I'm sure some of those words are correct. Um, so. Farm Mystery, that's it. Let's read the notes. Stay away! Uh-oh. Oh no! It seems... It would, it would appear that... It would appear that Slenderman is writing, is doing new drawings. Okay. I, I also can't get this off my screen. Okay, there we go. Can I read any other notes? Yep. No? Okay, thank you, hit system. I see there is a boar head in the pot. Do you want me to eat it? I can eat it if you want, but seriously, relax. Oh, yes, I know. I know there's a... I really don't like the hit system. It demands... It demands your attention. All right, uh... Why is there an avocado on this spoon? Okay. Uh, let's see if we need... Uh, what do we need, actually? Okay, well, let's see. We obviously need... Uh, um, a potato peel. Yes, that's very important. We need this tomato. We need the... We definitely need a lemon. So there's a lemon right there. But what the fuck were they cooking? Also, I like how this is an abandoned farmhouse, all this food's left out. It's all good, though. Like, look at this fucking cheeseburger just ready to go. Like, I'd eat that. Everything is just, you know, here's a, a piece of toast. Sure, we need that, definitely. Um, I'm somehow most abused and disgusted. I mean, some people eat the head of animals. So that's a thing in some cultures. The hook's right here, by the way. There it is. Okay. Uh, artichoke. What the hell is an artichoke again? I don't remember. Oh wait, it's that green thing there. 
Uh, all right, what else do we need? We need a croissant. Croissant. Uh, we need... Is this just a random raspberry? What is this? Okay, we need a fork. Oh, well, that was over here. Oh, we need this knife. We need the other... We're getting, like, at least one weapon per hidden object area, which is pretty great. Oh, no! Scare cords! Why, why was there scare cords? <laughs> um... All right, so I need a cherry and an onion. Let's see. Well, the onion's are over here. Oh, the cherry's in the pig's belt. Okay. Because that's a natural garnish for pig. All right. Um. Okay. It's, oh. Okay. Let's. Uh. Oh, it's my favorite type of cereal. It's called. It's it's it's. What's that say? I'm reading it. Big bag of cereals. My favorite brand. Yum. The green lit item seems to be the only one you're taking. Why the fuck are you still looking around if you found what you- Oh look, it's a person. Ha, <laughs> huh, hey you! You really scared me. I thought you were one of those scarecrows. Wait, you're a real person. At last, what is going- What's going on here? No question, no mark needed. I'm just going to say that statement definitively. Do you know Zach? Have you seen him? Where is he? She's really annoyed. She just asks like all the questions. Scarecrows are everywhere. Zach's disappeared. He's gone. You need to get out too. The only way down is- is down through the underground passage. You can't just walk away for some reason. What underground passage? There's a trap door below this carpet. Are you coming with me? No way! I'm about, about to go outside. Those scarecrows are everywhere. I've got enough food and drink here, so I'm waiting out till morning. Uh, okay. Can can we have a conversation? Or no, I guess not. Let's look under the carpet. Ah, uh, it's locked. I would expect so. You will need to find the key. Is there anything else interesting? Wait, hold on, what's this? Oh, that's just random sparkles. Not not important sparkles, random sparkles. Difference. There's a big difference there. Alright, so, uh... Do I need to use the... Oh, these together? Uh, I guess not. Alright, let's use the hook on it then. Okay. And then you just use the rope on it. Alright. Okay. I just want to get this. I just want to get this straight. So the, the the upstairs floor is blocked by a chandelier, right? So we can't get upstairs without getting that chandelier out of the way. And yet, we could somehow manage to attach a pulley system to the very fucking roof of this very high roofed area to remove the chandelier, so we can get upstairs. In other words, we can get to the roof, but we can't get to the second floor. <laughs> Gotcha. There you go, uh, Grandma McCarthy. I'm so sorry the house is such a mess, but it's Jefferson, you see. Uh, yeah, I hate that president. His spirit's been released from the mine, where it's been trapped for many years. Now he's seeking revenge on our family tree. You're such a pretty thing. You shouldn't be here. Dark things are happening. Angry spirits have been disturbed. Now Jefferson and his friends, the Starecrows, are everywhere. Oh, yes, he's always, you know, the President Jefferson and his Scarecrow collection, you know, they were in cahoots the whole time. Please be careful, and if you remember everything, please watch out for that Scarecrow. Maybe Ghostly helped him putting it up. I don't know. Maybe. I like how every time you can't do something, it makes the same sound. I wonder why it's locked, because it is. Alright, uh, you know, actually, let's back out. I'm gonna do this left to right. Okay, how, uh, what is this? Boy's room! Okay, we're in the boy's room. What's under the bed? Paper. And a cop Good. What, what, that, what does that say? Oh, by the way, you know how, you notice how there's an analog stick at, icon in the lower, in the, in the bottom of the book? Indicating to you probably you need to press the left stick or right stick. Neither work, you have to use the D-pad. <laughs> You have to use the D-pad. <laughs> isn't, isn't that a good visual indicator? <laughs> what's, the, what's the boy's got? Oh, he has a pipe. Okay. This has a really cool dog statue. Yes, I know hint system. Thank you. Oh, there's a letter missing. Um, they are missing the G key. Let's look at the trophies. This is a wonderful game. <laughs> Alright, well, the, we need the keyboard key. Uh, let's see, where is it? 
I don't know. Let's grab the army man. Let's grab this. Actually, let's grab this key. That's obviously important, right? No, that key's not important. Okay. Uh, what what do we need? Ah, yes, yeah, so we need to reassemble. We need to get more uh, weapons for our arsenal. So let's grab this slingshot. And let's grab. Uh, let's see. Uh, the the whistle, so we can. No, we can grab those. I thought we were gonna scare the ghost with that. Why is there a starfish? I mean, I guess you can get that. From, why is there a burger? It's the same burger from the kitchen. Oh, he snuck food for bedtime. I see how it is. Well, let's let's take it. We actually want the burger this time. <laughs> um, we want the plane. That's not a plane. It's a helicopter. That's a plane. Uh, we want the robot. Absolutely. Do you think we just get stock assets? Oh, a button, of course. In case we in case we lose our button on our shirt, we need. It's very important we have a backup. Um, let's see. Do you think they just get these uh, like objects from like a stock thing, or do you think they make them themselves? I, I think it's probably stock, probably. At least in a better hidden object game, they would probably draw their own. Uh, uh, Apple will bite in it. Sure, that sounds very useful. Um. Well, I guess we need this. Why is there a floppy disk? What century are we in here? Um, okay, well, here's a water pistol. There it is. Um, keyboard key is next to the donut. Of course. What the, what the hell? The shape is this, this key is shaped weird. It's a very the, the, the donut looks deflated. What's wrong with the donut? <laughs> uh, let's see. The Swiss knife's over here, and the harmonica is. Oh, it's right here. Rise, we have who eats a cabby caddy at E3M. Someone with good taste. All right, now that we have the G key, we can use this keyboard. We can use this computer because if we didn't have the G key, there would be no way to actually do anything on the computer. So, very important. I need a password asking this computer. Maybe it's right on the piece of paper I found. Let's see. Crack the code. Oh, wow. This Okay. Crack the code by guessing the right combination of numbers. There are three types of numbers. Red are not in the code. Orange are in the code, but in the wrong position. Oh, okay. It's it's mastermind. It's the game mastermind. Got it. So orange means wrong position. Green means good, correct. And red means bad. Okay. I mean, sure. Let's just do... How many, how many digits are we working with here? Okay. All right. Um, let's see. One, four, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay. Uh, let's try one, six, four, seven, zero, eight. Wait, what? Oh, there's two. Okay, that means there's two of something. All right. Wonder what there is two of though. One, eight, no yellow mean no yellow means that it's it's that number exists but it's in the wrong position. Um, I'm just thinking about what to move around where. So we try four four the four we haven't tried four at the end we haven't tried six in that position all right so this is probably going to be the duplicate number let's just try another eight yeah and let's put the six here and the four here and I got it <laughs> wait how do we hmm all right, uh, gold fever at Happy Orchard Farm. Prospector strikes gold at local farm. Farm ruined. Town in jeopardy if the rumor is true. Gold stampede averted. Farmer claims all is a hoax as Prospector mysteriously disappears. Reward posted. Scarecrow's exact revenge. Locals say Scarecrow's responsible for Prospector's disappearance. Campfire stories uncovered. Okay. Thank you. It was a bit of a shot in the dark, but we did it. Also, that puzzle could have very easily taken me a while to solve because it didn't really give you that many chances before a reset happened. I only had one other chance that it would reset. And granted, if the password remained the same, it wouldn't be that hard, but it's hard to tell. Um, was that, am I done there then? Why is it, there's, okay. Why is there a black box flash, flashing on, oh, whatever. All right, let's go to the bedroom, yes. <clears throat> let's take a look around. All right, so, well, there's an obvious chest here. 
There's some drawers over here, which is probably where the hidden object game is. And we got the bed. Oh, no, never mind. Oh my god! <laughs> I like the addition of random centipedes and spiders in these to indicate, oh, this is spooky. <laughs> this is spooky. We put a spider in. What a bed. I like how the, there was nothing on the bed before we zoomed in. There's also a butterfly. It's not really creepy. That's just kind of what we needed. Let me take it. Um, what else do we need? We need, uh, we need these glasses. Let me take that. We need the, uh, that book. The wallet. That's what it is. A wallet. Flask. Sure. Um, th this. Nope. Okay. Our, yeah, the alarm clock. That's where you put alarm. We need this bell for in case we open a hotel. We'll need that. Um, we need the stamp. We need yes, the stamp. Yes, that's uh, very useful. Uh, we need the the single high heel. One sh one single shoe. Very useful. Uh, let's see. We need this corkscrew. <laughs> corkscrew. Uh, we need the lighter. Yes, and we need the wrench, of course. And uh, this. Spy glass. Why is there a spy glass on the bed? What? What is this bed? This bed is frustrating to look at. Yeah, it kind of is. It's over here. Find a way to open the red drawer. Okay. Give me that. Okay. Does that does that count as a? I got a. Is that a lapel pin? What is this? So the only good bet is the one that has either your significant other in it or a bunch of plushies. The only good, yeah, I agree with this. I have a lot of plushies, but they're not on my bed because Eric I would probably just throw them off the bed while he sleeps because that's what he, he's he's very violent. He's very he's not violent. He he just moves a lot when he sleeps, <laughs> so it wouldn't really work out. All right, let's go to the next room. Girls' room. Of course, it has creepy dolls. Why not? Stereotypical. Good. Uh, let's, what's over here? That's a broken mirror and a corkscrew pen and... Okay. Am I... Oh, I guess I should open the drawer? No? Okay. What am I... Am I trying... What am I doing here? I guess not that. What is this? It's a bathtub plug. What? Okay, well, I assume I need a key or... So I don't know what I need here. All right, let's go to the bed. Or let's go to the cabinet. There might be something useful on this desk. Um, there is. I mean, I already clicked everything. Okay, I, I thought I clicked that, but all right, let's... I get it. These rooms are kind of self-contained. And now I want to use the hairpin on the lock. Yeah. Find all the dolls hidden in the cabinet. Okay. One... Two, three, four. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that took no time at all. I thought it was going to be more than that on the... Okay, yeah, so we got all the dolls. Hello, doll. Are you going to turn towards me really creepily? Oh, no! Oh, actually, I think I made him do that. Never mind. Also, I made their foot come off and got a key out of it. Um, all right. Oh, no! All right, so we got a we got a proper key. I don't know what the point of doing all the rooms is, but to the bathroom. Like, well, all our knowledge will be actually. Hold on. Did I check the painting? I did. Okay, paint looks suspicious. <laughs> oh no, it's a mannequin in the bath in the bathtub. Right. Um, what what we got in here? I should check that cabinet. If nothing else I could do is find some headache tablets. Yes, headache tablets. That's what I call aspirin or ibuprofen or Tylenol myself. I call them headache tablets. Non-branded, non-copyrighted. Yes. There you go. We got some headache tablets. Enjoy. Actually, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want the gear? Okay, you want the gear. All right. All right. Okay. Well, there's all. Hmm. I'm gonna need some kind of tool to fix. Do you need the wrench? Oh, yes, I sure do love how wrenches, like, you see a hole in something, and you're like, it's okay, I got my wrench. And you pull out your wrench, and you whack it a few times, and that magically creates more metal. I love wrenches and how they do that. It's really great. <laughs> it's 
still fairly rich. Um, okay, the plug obviously has. Looks like I need a bathtub plug. Okay, mannequin needs a bath. Let's uh, let's let's, give him, let's put the bathtub. There you go. Oh, oh look at that! He's like, thanks. You can have my key because now I'm taking a bath. I don't know how that works, but okay. All right, and that's uh, that's that for this area. What do I need? To, what do I need the cog and the metal shaft for? Well, I guess we'll find out. Enchanted wrench. Yes. All right, so let's go back in the back here. And uh, I guess I can open this now, probably. Oh, watch out, scare cord. Oh, uh, bye. All right, we'll get down here. Okay, we need a. Clearly need this metal shaft for that. Or. Clearly need this metal shaft for that. Okay, never mind. Oh, um. I should light that torch if I want to see something. How? Okay, well, there's probably an item in here somewhere. Let's look around. I mean, I don't exactly have a light. Hold on. Oh, thank you, Tari. Gear. Of course, let's use the gear. Then... Oh, is that is that slot for a gear? Maybe it's for a gear. Let's try that. Nope. All right, Hent, what do you want me to do? It's too dark to see anything. Maybe if I lit the torch so somehow. Yeah, use this thing up here, or this piece of wood, or... What am I doing? Right. I Yeah, I light the torch. You know, I, I literally picked up a lighter in one of the hidden object metagames, but I guess we just can't use that. Um... I guess I'll... Oh, oh, I can go back up. I thought I was stuck down here for some reason. So I guess I missed an item? Yeah? Oh, I guess, I, yeah, I didn't notice there was a hidden item. It makes sense there would be one of the Patrick. Alright, well, here's a candle here somewhere. Let's get another flask, because we just... I like how there's just a bowl of Fruit Loops here. I'll take that, thanks. It's called Cereal Flakes. That's not Cereal Flakes, it's not Flakes at all. It's the fucking Fruit Loops. I don't know what they're on about. Egg. Take that. I'm actually just kind of clicking objects. I could look down. Okay, we need the eight ball. I'll take that. Uh, something really stopped me from just clicking every object. There's no, there's no penalty. But I'll play. I'll try to play it legit. <laughs> take that fork. Bullet. Coin. Yeah, coins. Yeah, sure. Um, lighter. Uh. This big pen, sure. I see fork. Most of this food is probably dusty and stale as hell. I mean, I'm just surprised nothing's rotted. Where's the cake? We need a cake. How am I missing? Oh! Ding dong! Tito did nothing bad. Oh, thank you for the fall. Thank you for the sub. Well, I'll take this uh, tape recorder. Yeah, what century is this game in? Like, seriously. Uh, I need a flower and cake. Alright. What? I don't see a cake here anywhere. What, what kind of cake am I looking for? I'm just starting to cut. I'm, oh, there's a the cake. Just, just like you've got a little whipped cream on it. All right. Um, flour, though. Oh, well, this bag here that says flour, I suppose. And lastly, we need the candle, which I haven't actually seen. Oh, wait. I've been walking right past it. All right. Clicking right past it. Scrolling right past it. I was hoping for a whole cake. Maybe I was overachieving. All right. So. Wait. We have a. Wait. Hold on. We have an unlit candle. I actually thought that would work because this game is weird. We have an unlit candle. Do I need... Alright. You know, again, we have a lighter, but never mind that, I guess. I need to light the stove? Okay, I guess we need to light the stove. Ignoring, ignoring the flashlight, ignoring the numerous lighters we have seen. 
Let's uh, let's just fix the oven. Roll to the iron oven, iron oven dials to the correct position. When the dial is in the right correct position and connected, a single light will come on. Connect all four to solve the puzzle. This is how you fix stoves. You just have to make sure all the birds work at the same time. Gotcha. Okay. actually pretty bad these kind of puzzles but I think I could solve it damn it I have them perfectly these things oh come on <laughs> Keep clicking until it's solved. There you go. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Okay. Good. Light the candle. Again, ignoring the lighters we picked up. Sure. Oh, by the oh, actually, I have a little special announcement when this game's over with. All right, let's light the, the thing now. With this lit candle, not our lighter. There we go. Now that we can so much better see what we're doing, we just, uh, lever? Yep, that's what I thought. And then in here, place a gun in the top left hand spindle. Tap all the gears in a specific order to ensure they all turn. When the gear is selected and rotate, the next gear to be selected must be in the same row column and must be either the same color or type. All right. Yes, I have some news, actually. I forgot to announce it, but now that we have more people, it makes sense to announce it. I actually completely glazed over what I just said, but I'll figure it out. Uh, what am I doing? Actually, don't actually know what I'm doing. What was it again? Tap all the gears to stick over to make sure they all turn. When a gear is selected and rotate, the next gear to be selected must be in the same row column, must be the same color type. What? I still don't quite understand, but okay. So I gotta make... Okay, I, I think I understand, but all right. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's got to be the same color or type. Okay, I understand now. I get what they mean. Almost. <laughs> hmm. Go for the top right blue for. I have to actually start by going down. Actually, wait, no. No, you're right, actually. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's not good because I need that. This is a weird ass puzzle though, I have to be honest. Hmm. 
Leave the middle one last? I mean, I can kind of do that, but not entirely, as you can tell. Second to last, so you can actually hit the right one. Fair enough. It's actually a little bit more annoying than I expected to do this one. The one on the lower right is the annoying one. Right middle needs to be last. Okay, that's nice, but... I still don't know how to solve this. So I'm always left in a situation where, you know, the last one is annoying, to put it simply. Try to turn all the cogs. If the cog is the same shape as another cog, you can go from it to another to it if it's in a if it's in a line. If it's the same color, you could also go from it to it, uh, another in the same line of the same color. But if they are both different colors and different shapes, you cannot go between them. Also, I think I solved it. So, that idea about going right first, that was incorrect. That didn't work. That, however, did work. This does remind me of, it's it's clearly, well, hidden object games are kind of like that, yes. Oh, what we got here? Ah, I see, tic, evil tic-tac-toe, gotcha. Um, all right. I can remember that, thanks. Thank you, I'll take your skull too. Just so I, uh, just for a souvenir, you know. I've got so many souvenirs at this point. That sandbag looks like it'd be useful. Which, which, which sandbag? I mean, this one over here? What, what sandbag? Okay, well, anyways, let's get the, uh, let's get the hammer. Ah, yes, the very, very useful thing, uh, the rock. Where's the rock? We need this speckly thing? No. Uh, yeah, technically I could just click everything until we get everything. Let's just do that. Let's just... I'm sorry, I was, I was trying to play this legitimately, but this is also a way you could do it. So... You know... <laughs> There's another harmonica. I don't know what sandbag they're talking. Is this a sandbag? Yeah, I guess so. Literally, it's I thought they meant the sandbag that looked like lit actually looked like a proper sandbag. All right. Place heavy objects on the plates and close the dose dose close. That the close looks really weird. It's, okay, use drills to figure out. Yeah, I, I okay. Oops. All right, move it up. <laughs> hey, with the right tool, I can clear this passage. It's hay. Just, it's not even that block. Just climb over the hay or just dig it out. What are you so concerned about? Oh, Mo, the Scarecrow had a lot of items. Let's just click randomly and, and clear it quickly. <laughs> this this Scarecrow here, he was a hoarder. He was. Why does he have a banana? Give me that. <laughs> It's a playing card there too. All right, I need a cane and a, okay, there it is. 
Stab it while it's down. I got a, a bitch fucking. Literally, it's just hay. We're 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 too lazy to just deal with hay. Okay. I'll use the pitchfork. That, that was very noisy, thank you. Hi, you look sad. Do you want a key? I guess not. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you have a horseshoe. Are we going, okay. Are we collecting horseshoes? Because we got one at the beginning of the game, and now we got one here, but there's also a horseshoe one of the hidden object games, and we didn't pick that one up, so I don't really understand what we're doing when it comes to the horseshoes. Do we want the horseshoes, or do we not want the horseshoes? Oh. There's all sorts of directions we can go now. Oh, this is a fairly big game, I'll give it that. Where does this go? Oh. The barn looks interesting. Scarecrows are endless. Well, that's kind of how scarecrows are. Oh no, the scarecrow was murdered. With his old, very old cell phone. <laughs> or what? Could I just a cordless phone, actually? He also was, he was killed with his pet frog, at least. At least he had his pet frog for, to comfort him. Another flintlock pistol is just hanging out there. Okay, we need a hammer, a sword, and a baseball. Got it. That's the baseball. Uh, hammer, 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 hammer. I, you know, I did click the sword. There we go. <laughs> and hammer. I don't see the hammer. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I clicked that already! I thought I was looking for a- I thought we were looking for a normal type of hammer, not that type, because I already clicked that and it failed. <laughs> Alright, um, well, just- Whoa, okay, I'm just gonna rip into that. Um, swap the pieces till you form the file image, okay. Oh god, I hate these puzzles. Um, alright, I don't- it's a horseshoe, so, okay. Here's where it all falls apart, because I'm really bad at these puzzles. I wish I could just use the D-pad for this. Yeah. I, I personally have always found slime block puzzles to be the most infuriating thing on the planet. It just feels designed to raise my blood pressure, these things. What do you guys feel about them? Row by row. I don't know how to do that, though. Never had any problems with them? I think they're just the bane of my specific existence. I'm gonna re actually back out of this. Wait, there's a skip button? Oh, you can apparently skip this. They uh, they knew that it sucked. I'm surprised everybody's totally chill about slime block puzzles, though, actually. I'm kind of surprised by this. You can go row I know what you mean by going row by row, though. Um, let's see, where is the- I need this one up there. Problem is, whenever I try to arrange the row, of course, things get reset. And... Well... Okay, that wasn't the right piece. Okay, what piece goes up there? I'm not legit not sure, actually. Oh, that's the empty spot. That's the empty tile. That's right. Okay. Well, cool, I guess. You can go row by row with these, you say. I sort of believe that, yes. Oh, there is one that goes, for fuck's sake, there is. You're right. I 
mean, I kind of know the trick with the rows. I have to say, doing this on an analog stick is extra annoying. It's just, this. even if you know what you're doing, though, wouldn't you just say this is a lot of busy work? Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't do it right. But yeah, I know what you mean by the row by row thing. It's just... Which one goes up there, though? Oh, it's that one that goes up there. What are you doing? I said I wasn't good at these. Do you believe me now? Ah, I see. Actually, is how it works. Okay. Right. Uh, okay, so I need... Yeah. There. Somehow managed to do it. Thank you for the follow. I'm a puzzle master, but not those puzzles. They suck anyways, though, so I don't really feel too bad about it. Looks like the barn is locked. No, it isn't. I have a key. Place a cog on the bottom right hand spindle. Switch the lock pieces until they match with their counterpart. What? Uh, oh, 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 I see what you're asking me to do. Okay. Well, isn't that just more busy work? All right, I'll just do that then. Um, and that looks right. And that one. That one. There you go. I mean, uh, this game can't be that much longer, right? Uh, did we actually hit the timer? I think we did, right? I was, oh, no, not quite. We're close. Let's go on the barn. We gotta be close to the end of the game, though. I feel like this can't... Oh, no! I see you found your way back out of the house. Aunt Mary said you might be coming around visiting. Uh, yeah? Aunt Mary, what? Oh, yes, lady of the house. Who are you? Folks call me Mr. Washington. I used to be a farm man around here. Used to be? Right, you're a ghost. I'm getting used to ghosts. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> yeah? You talk too much, lady. <laughs> You've worked on the farm, you'll know Zach. I'm really worried for him. Have you seen him? Yes, I remember Zach. That boy is a real piece of work. Happy little fellow. You used to be always playing around the barn. You might want to check there. We are on the barn. I kind of hate our protagonist, though. Oh, hello. No good, miss? No, it just doesn't add up. You might want to check out the orchard then. Okay. I didn't mean to actually leave, but that's fine. Oh, no. How scary. I really like how the, the music kicks up whenever we go to the hidden object part, because it's like, oh, no. The most horrendous things are the messes we see. Okay, we need a knife. There we go. We got another tomato. That's good to know. I'm very shake. A very. Cr Ooh, this is so spooky. Yeah, yeah. I got the horseshoes. I don't have all of them, but I got horseshoes. There you go. So this is where the silver horseshoe goes. So this is where the bronze horseshoe goes. I guess so. I mean, we're just making guesses here, but, you know. I should pull down that scarecrow. Yeah, let's get the, uh, pole of hook here. Where are you? Then I'll, uh, hit it with a pre- I don't know. What, what am I- what do I do that for, exactly? What did that, what did that accomplish for me? Horse equipment. Okay. Oh good, I got a magic stone. What is this? A green orb. Okay. Do, do you want that? No, apparently not. As a minimalist, clutter is a form of horror for me. It kind of is for me too, yeah. Alright, hints. Tell me, tell me what to do. Hanging Scarecrow. You want me to do something with the Scarecrow? I get this, but I can't actually do anything with it. Oh, oh, now I can click that. I swear, game. Well, I have his evil scythe now, so that's good. Metal plate. What? What? Yes, I know. The metal plate is... I like how the hint says I'm just throwing random words at me now. So In the past, it was like, you should do this, and now it's like, eh, this. 
Oh no! But you don't have a shelf, so you use a scarecrow instead. There's another scorp- I got the scorpion this time. Why is there just a skateboard? Who- what radical knight this kid was here? Hmm. What else? That. It's a soccer ball in the tree. Why is there a teddy bear in the tree? I'll take that. I'm confused. This is... There's a cross on him. There it is. And the die. There we go. I feel like I'm very close to being in this game, so I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit longer. Some scythe should be useful here. Just, you know, some scythe. Okay, uh, the occasional scythe. Some some degree of scythe might be useful here. Okay, we made a path. Cool. We need to... Oh, we got the last horseshoe, so let's go back. For this game, I want to see how... Yeah, I kind of want to see how this ends, too, because of how stupid it is. Now, I want to point out that hidden object games can be good. This is not a... But like any genre, it can also be bad. You're gonna have bad games in a good genre. Um, obviously. So, oh yeah, I was like, wait, maybe I should actually interact with that first. Oh, I got the red orb. Cool. It's just a demo. This is, this is, it reveals this is a demo for Death Stranding. What? Why? <laughs> Why would it be the bad of all things? Oh no. Another horrific. Hey, look, I got a mouse! I got a rat! It's, it was, it said it's a mouse, but it looks more like a rat to me. Oh, there's the blue orb. And I guess I need that. Dragon. Cockroach. Make fun class. It really is more fun just to click randomly. Now, some animal object games do penalize you for randomly clicking. This one does not do that. Like, there's like maybe a time limit for searching. Oh no, it's a creepy ghost girl. Can you help me? I'm looking for my uncle, but he's not here. What's his name? His name is Jefferson. He used to work on the farms by as a prospector. I'll try to fight him and let him know you're where you were. If you can, just let me pass through. Sure, you need to solve the puzzle first, and I'll let you through. You're a ghost. I can walk right through you. I know ghosts. I am one. Place the orbs in the corresponding positions. Use the mechanism buttons to move them along the lines of pentagram. Okay. Oh, I see what... Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, that's... Look at that down there. Okay. This isn't really that hard. Done. You're a charge where a thick ghost, so people will touch you. Yes, they can if they want to. If I, if I want them to, they can. Let's look at this. Smash the bottle. I mean, why? But okay. I'll do a petroleum and this weight. There we go. Well, it's like, I see a random ball in the field. I must smash it so we can get a piece of... Okay, all the random shit we've been picking up and you need a, you need a, you need to improvise a sharp object. <laughs> Because, yeah, obviously that would work much better than the knife we picked up. I wonder how to open this grave. Use petroleum jelly. Oh, that tea looks very important. Let me take that. That R looks important. That A looks... We're just, we're just literally... This is a form of grave robbing. Let's just do this. Rotate the dial of the symbols in order to match each symbol with the corresponding letter to form the correct passcode. What? Um. Is this just busy work? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's, I don't. What? What am I doing? Hmm. 
I got ING at the bottom, but I'm not really sure what I did do that. It's probably a combination lock, though. Which ironically means... Okay, I think I understand what I'm doing. Yeah, I get it. It's a really dumb way of setting up the puzzle, but I get it. At least I think I do. Feather is 14, okay. Um. I. Oh, whatever. It seems to be doing something, so whatever. There. Did that do it? I guess so. Give me your key. And, and I need that too, probably. What is that? A medieval spear. Why not? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Did we use it to, like, lever piss to this, or...? I guess so. I need to get down there. Just jump in. I was, like, wondering if that sound effect would ever stop. Okay. Um, so we need a ladder. Got it. Well, we go back two screens and grab that ladder. Except for it's a broken ladder. I need to find some wood. Okay. So, how do we do that? <laughs> Nothing else to do here. Glass broke, I'm gonna need to eat So basically, the thing at the top of the screen blocks the hint. So I have to actually wait. Are you using, try using item. I have, pit, I have jelly and Hold on. I should try another location. Alright, let's go in the barn. Nothing else to do here. Hold on. It's asking for backtracking. Actually, you know what? Let's take the wood here. Heap of wood. Yes. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect heap of wood. It's had, it's had a, uh, just, I can't believe they managed to put backtracking in a game like this. It's just kind of dumb. All right. So, uh, do we need like, you know, do we need any way of like a, a constructing it? Swap the ladder piece to the right hand to fit the counterpart on the left. When all rungs are in place, the ladder will be fixed. This is not how you fix a ladder. Oh, whatever. This is also just the puzzle we did earlier, but a little bit different. Also, uh, start at the top. Oh, it's just gonna... okay. <laughs> Alright, give me that. Flyers are tied to the branch. Okay, let me use this improvised glass piece. There you go. Wow. <laughs> this game. All right, this is this feel kind of like a Goosebumps Gumps game actually. Except for that was a really good Goosebumps game back in the day. Actually, you guys, you just remind me of. Oh man, you unlocked a memory. Oh, I need to write that down. You unlocked a memory. An ancient memory. Good work. <laughs> I will explain it at a later date. But you reminded me of a Goosebumps game that was actually fucking scary. Namely for. Ch for, for for Caleb, not for me, but you know, uh, it it, it probably would. I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna check that out too now. Yes, a long time ago, PC game, Goosebumps PC game. It was mostly a adventure game, but there was this secret. There was well, it wasn't really. There was this underground area that played like Doom, and it was a little bit. Uh, it was optional. 
It's for like some extra goodies and stuff, but it was like freaky as hell. Like it's legit scary. Arrow the right code to open the door. Looked around the tubes, those were clues. Each number is a clue. Oh, the. <sighs> Alright, or arrange the dates in order. Gotcha. Um, how do I back out of this? Oh, wait, or is it my. It's in my book. 1929. Okay, so 762, 1862. Okay. Oops. And nineteen twenty-nine. Okay. There we go. We must be getting close to the end of the game because we made it to the mine that was being talked about, so. That's where we uh, started from, all right. This is strangely more modern than the rest of it. Oh, <laughs> Chloe, is that you? Look at this, look at this guy, he looks perplexed, like, it looks like he's judging us, like, Hmm, you got here to save me, but I don't know, you could have gotten here about an hour sooner. Um, also, you didn't bring any, any of the useful tools that you could have brought, you brought just random shit that you picked up earlier? Okay, I see, like, I don't, I don't know if I agree with this. Oh, Zach, you're alive! What's going on? I've seen ghosts, the farm is full of scarecrows, and you're locked out here. Please hurry, there's no time, he'll be back soon. Quick, just get me out of here, I'll explain everything. Right now, we just need to go. We found our objective. We must be getting close. Alright, back to the previous area, and now we can actually interact with things. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> nice skull. Oh, wax beans! My favorite type of beans. I really like how there's absolutely no bearing to picking up the other objects, besides the fact that it's just a gameplay feature. It's pretty great. Uh, belt. Ah, there it is. Oh, I got the, what the hell did I just get? Hold on a minute. I got the pliers, but what's this? The the glowing scythe of glowiness. All right. Um. What? Oh no! I only have silhouettes of the items. This makes it so much harder to figure out what they are. Good night, Tutek. Um, yeah, no rush on the response, dude. But I will get. I'll read it later if you uh, do respond. Hmm. Oh, there's the pliers. And there's a mask. This should be useful. What did I get now? I just got a special scarecrow. All right. Wax paws would not be soft and squishy as normal paws. The guy looks like Matt Pat. Hold on. I can't look at him again, but I made me really curious to check him again. I'll do so later. Wait, those are wire cutters. Those, those aren't used to ch clip chains. Those are used. Oh my god. Sleep down, you gotta sleep? Well, if you can't spell like that, then I think that might be wise. Good night, Tialtra. Wow, you can really... Yeah, right out of the clicking works really well here. Another lizard's in this... Another lizard in this box. Oh, this is... Just... We need the... Oh, we found our pet chinchilla, the ultimate goal of the game. Give me that. That was the secret goal, you see. 
Clock. Okay. Well, I guess it technically is a clock. Why would, what, what, why did the conversation turn to wax beans out of curiosity? I'm a little unsure where that came from. Not that I mind, just kind of perplexed by it. Oh, we got the key. Let's open the door. Oh, that! I, I never played that game, but I know what you're talking about. Okay. Oh. So there's gotta be saying. Oh, wait, did I not? Oh, that's right, the drawer. I completely forgot about the drawer. Oh, spooky, spooky metal. I got a spooky metal. It's a pumpkin. Day one, trapped in the mine. Someone will be here to save me soon. Can't wait to see Dottie. Me and Dottie. Day three, it's hot in here, but I have enough food to wait it out till they find me. Day five, nothing yet. Keeping spirits up playing games with a scarecrow. My friend. Day 10, where are they? No food, water supply running low. Help! Day 15, dark, for most of the days now. Lamp oil low, I need to preserve it. Where are they? Why won't they come? Stop hinting them, I'm trying to read something. My gold. Day 20, it's my gold, they want my gold. If it's gone, they can they, they can take it, it's mine, all mine! If I'm gone, they think I can take it. Day 25, darkness is coming for me and my gold. A curse on the happy orchid farm and all those who have left me to rot here, curse. I like how he adds extra words, like curse, just in case I made that, just to make that clear. Day 25, you'll never get my gold. Me and my pal Scarecrow have been talking. A Scarecrow's curse on anyone who tries to take my gold. I will have my revenge. I, Prospector Jefferson, do have my curse. All who live it. Happy work of fire and fire I will not rest until I have my gold back. Okay. Wow, okay. Switch the piece around until all images are complete. Use the button in the middle to swap select the pieces. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... All right, gotcha. Oh, I see. All right. Well, this is kind of annoying, but I should be able to solve this. Eventually. Oh no, this is gonna take me forever. You know what? No, resume. Can I reset? I can't reset, can I? Nope, can't reset. Right, so I'm working with what I got. Actually, wait a minute. This isn't too bad if I really think about this laterally. I just need to work in a clockwise position, and I'll eventually solve it. Uh, if I can find what the fuck the other side of the pair is. Actually, where is the other side of the pair? Oh. Oh, it's not pair, it's this. No, actually, wait. Okay, hold on. Trying to figure out what the what is the other side of this object that I'm trying to work on? Like this part here, like what is it? Is it pitchfork? Oh, is it the pitchfork? No, no, the not not the pitchfork. The other part. What's the other part? The part next to the pig. The part, the part to the left, this part right here, the one that I'm selected on. What what is the other side of that? I'm kind of getting, oh, it's here, here it is. I found it. I was getting very confused. But yeah, it's, it's simple. I just have to go in a circle. I was overthinking this. If I just go in a circle, it should be perfect by the end. I think. There. Hi, Matt Pat. How you doing? You two are going nowhere. Why are you doing this? You're harming and terrorizing a lot of innocent people. We haven't done any harm. Let us go. No harm, eh? Really? What about your boyfriend's family who rocked me down here in this mine to rot? I don't know anything about it. It happened over 100 years ago. We're not responsible. There are other people who are on the farm. I think it might be a theory. A game theory. 
<laughs> it kind of does. Don't matter. I'm fixing to get my revenge. Your family done wronged me out of my gold. So either I get my gold back or I get my revenge. See, there's no gold in this here mine no more. I get figured out revenge. Gold, what's is this what that's about? You can have your gold. Here, take it. It was here, locked away in the mine all along. Nothing is worth this. Perform action. Hi. He's very dapper in that coat, though. It looks like he's on. He's ready for a night on the town. I should give the gold. They found the problem. Fuck you, bye. Good luck, Matt Pet. I'm out of here. Ha! <laughs> ah, they couldn't chase me. All right, fine. Let's give him the gold. I like how you just leave. You can have. You can have him. Whatever. I'm not part of his family. Well, well, well. Your boy could have managed his way out of a paper bag, but you miss. You're full of surprises. This sure looks like my gold. Tastes like it, too. I reckon this settles your debt. Now I'm going to bother find my little die. We won't be bothering you folks again. I don't believe it just happened. I thought you'd see what was happening and turn around and never look back. Hey, come on, Zach. I may have stirred us off. I would have left you for all the gold in the world. Hashtag OMG. Hashtag got my BFF. Love, love. <laughs> Happy new terror stocked. Happy Orchid Farm exclusives. Heroin Chloe saves the day. Real truth revealed. Cool. That. <laughs> Mystery solved! It says so in New Times New Roman Text. Yay! I <laughs> did it. Oh, how spoopy! Ah. The scariest thing was the bad, the terrible sense of organization in a lot of those scenes. <laughs> what a, what a game. Uh, that was Farm Mystery, the Happy Orchard Nightmare. Uh, well, I played it for full, so you don't have to. Because it's not really that great a game, even for a hidden object game. I really should get myself a hidden object game uh, that I play on stream at some point that is uh, one of the better ones. Because there are definitely some good ones out there. that I have not really checked the genre out, but I do want to check out more, especially if... We can only go up from here, let's be honest. But that was Farm Mystery, the Happy Orchard Nightmare.